Happy Sunday beauties. Welcome to my Sunday reset routine. I am super excited to share this one with you because I feel like I thrive off of a good weekend routine. It really centers me, gets me ready for the week, gets me set up, and it's really the key to my productivity during the week. So what we're going to cover today is the how I reset our home. So cleaning, taking care of the plants, just setting up a beautiful space for the week. I feel like a clean space is the clean slate for the week. It's something that you really need to get started on the right foot. I'm going to show you my weekly grocery haul and a weekly vegan meal prep that I do. Maybe I'll bake a little something, who knows? So I'm really excited to share that. And then lastly, we will go over my writing out schedule, how I kind of prioritize all my tasks. So I'm gonna show you how I prioritize for the week, how I schedule everything out, and of course, how I avoid Sunday scaries at night. We all know Sunday scaries are a real deal and we don't want them. So I'm gonna show you how I avoid Sunday scaries. Okay, so the first order of business is to clean up because the apartment is a whole mess. Don't even look at that. The bedroom's a mess. I'm not starting my week like that, so let's get that going. Last night, Carl and I actually went to a Halloween party. I'll show you our fun costume here. But anytime I go out at night, I always end up like being late getting ready. So I just like scramble and throw clothes all around. Hence this like lovely little pile over here I'm like I'll deal with it tomorrow but that's why I have my Sunday reset to clean up after the craziness of the week and get everything set up all right let me show you guys my favorite trick for a sparkly sink you take some baking soda and you pour it all over the sink, especially in the drain area. That helps get rid of any of the bacteria that's been accumulating from the food and everything that you've been putting down your sink. All week, you take a little bit of dish soap and then you scrub it. And then you just rinse it with some hot water. And actually when I clean, I love to listen to like high vibrational music. So I either listen to this playlist, uh, 528 Hertz music. So that music is proven to elevate your frequency and get you all zen out for the week. I love to listen to that on my Sundays as I clean and get my space ready. Or I recently also found this playlist on Spotify called I'm Thriving that has like all high vibrational music that's more modern. It has like some rap, pop and stuff like that, but it's all high vibes. So I definitely recommend and I also started listening to it when I work out and you know just to manifest and attract all the positive vibes and positive things. Okay, you know a Sunday clean out is never complete without cleaning out your makeup brushes. So that's what I'm gonna tackle next. Grab my little thing of makeup brushes, my beauty blenders. I try to do that every Sunday. I gotta be honest, I don't really do it every Sunday, maybe like twice a month. I have this cute little tool that I got during COVID to clean my makeup brushes. It's just off of Amazon. Okay, Kobe. I just put some shampoo, usually regular hair shampoo, and I clean it, uh, clean my brushes with that. The last step of my Sunday cleaning routine is usually burning some sage. I feel like it just makes the cleaning feel complete. If you don't know what like burning sage does, it's said to clean out, you know, any bad energies, any bad vibes. So I really like to do that after I clean everything out. Um, and let's clean the energy out too. I burn a little bit of the sage, kind of let it get going. And in anti-clockwise motion, I will go around the room, especially in like little corners and nooks um, or in the bedroom and just like sage the whole space out. I love doing this. Now it is time for a well-deserved cereal break. Back from the weekly haul, uh, we went to Trader Joe's to get our typical weekly foods, lots of snacks and lots of meals. Typically what I like to do is cook at least like two to three meals 
uh, per week here at home and then other meals we just end up eating out or like making something quick but at least I like to do like two to three recipes of either a lunch or a dinner or a snack just to have you know to make sure that we're grabbing like healthy meals as we go throughout the week I typically don't have too much time to cook during the week so I like to pre-cook what I can on Sunday it's kind of late right now so I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to do but I am about to make some tomato soup and um, some healthy granola bars for snacks so I'll show you that and then I'll show you a couple other items that I just got that I really like that are my weekly staples for my veggies this week I went really fall and I got some sliced mushrooms Brussels sprouts and some butternut squash which I'm going to roast both of these in a little uh, like a quinoa roast bowl we'll see for proteins this week I got this sriracha flavored tofu which is so good i'm going to probably add that to the quinoa roast i got the plant-based tofurkey slices which are a must for me in my sandwiches i got a tofurkey italian sausage which i'm going to make some gnocchi pasta with and lastly car really likes these the turkey less protein patties i don't really eat these but carl loves these and i know mia really likes those too i got some mangoes i got some raspberries which i'm going to put in my yogurt for breakfast and i also got some dates which i'm going to use in the um granola bars and then for snacks my two favorites from Trader Joe's actually three favorites uh, is these plantain chips those are the truth if you've ever tried these you know they're so good Cracker bars I take these to work with me as well I usually like the smooth sanctuary flavor but they were out so I went with this one and this hummus dip which is delicious with some pita chips really good like pre-dinner snack and then a little bonus something that I love are these toaster waffles these are actually gluten-free and vegan pretty much like accidentally vegan I would say uh, but these are like my weekend brunch staple if I'm just like making quick brunch at home I'll make these with some just egg delicious so now I'm gonna unpack all of this and I'll show you what I make with it So now that the apartment is nice and clean, it is time to clean out the mind. And what I do to do that and to avoid, you know, any Sunday scaries or any like anxiety at night, I write out everything for the week. I have this beautiful notebook. I feel like step one is getting a cute notebook so that you can get excited about that you can write stuff in. And I use this notebook for my intentions that are more sort of spiritual intentions and things that I really want to experience and feel in the week. I really started shifting from a more goal-oriented attitude to a more feeling-centered attitude. So things that I really want to attract, manifest, and feel in my life this week. So something that I've really been pursuing is the feeling of peace. I am naturally a very anxious person. You guys might relate to that. I get stressed out very easily, my husband knows. And basically anytime anything, Kobe's very frustrated right now. Kobe, no. <laughs> what do you want? So because I get stressed out very easily, a lot of things can sort of pull me away during the day. If a small thing happens, it can really spiral my thoughts and um, I can get very anxious very easily. So in order to address that, I sort of look over the past week and I write out everything that I feel like triggered me or in situations that I didn't respond correctly to or things that kind of pushed me over the edge and things that I think I could do better next week and set myself up for success next week. This method helps me identify certain patterns and helps me start to eliminate stressful things in my life, shift towards a more peaceful attitude. For example, some things that I have identified, some of them might be silly, some of them might be big. Uh, certain things where, okay, if I notice that I'm not getting exercise for a few days in a row, let's say all week I'm too busy to work out, my mind starts getting very full. It's sort of, uh, you know, working out, it's sort of like a mental cleansing for me. So that's something I've identified and I was like, okay, you know what, I can't go more than like two days without any movement, my body really needs it. Uh, so now I know that. Sometimes during the day, if I don't pack enough snacks, I get really hangry okay it's a real thing and then i start being mean to people <laughs> i know it sounds silly but it's a thing like you need to take care of your body first you need to make sure that you're well nourished you're not hungry you're not thirsty you're exercising you're taking your vitamins and also you're meditating that's something that i incorporated on a daily basis i'm doing this 
30 day meditation challenge with myself, I'm trying to keep myself accountable. So all these little habits are things that you can incorporate. So basically it's very important for me to review back the week, review what worked, what didn't work, what habits I can improve on and what I can do better next week. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Once I've done the review, I also try to take conclusions from it and write down new daily habits that I want to pay attention to for the next seven days and things that I believe are going to make me feel more at peace for the week or whatever your goal is. But I do believe that it's important to keep weekly track of your progress towards the real goals that you want to achieve in your life and the real feelings that you want to experience rather than being super caught up into your to-do list that's why i do that first because that's my priority but once i'm all done with that i go ahead and make a quick list of everything on my phone that is sort of lingering in my mind everything that i know i have to get done this week i use this app called to do which is basically just a to-do list so i have two running lists in this app one work to-do list and one personal to-do list and this app really saves me as somebody with a very busy mind because i cannot rest until like i write something down and i know i'm not going to forget it uh, so sometimes even if i'm in bed and something is lingering in my head i can just quickly jot it down and i know tomorrow i can check it and i'm not going to forget so now that that is done it's basically just time to relax and wind down i'm probably going to do a puzzle tonight or do something creative just to take my mind off of any work or anything that's coming up for Monday. One of my favorite ways to wind down recently has been doing yoga and a brief meditation. What I do is I just turn on the lights off. I get the apartment nice and moody. Sometimes I put a candle on. Um, so I have a little light in the living room that I use. To set the vibe, I have my yoga mat. And what I've been using lately is this app called Headspace. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. It's pretty popular. It's a meditation app. They also have some pretty great recorded yoga lessons. Uh, so you can select the length of the lesson and kind of what you're in the mood for. I usually do this uh, session called the bedtime flow. It's 45 minutes, but uh, like 10 minutes out of that is a meditation. I've really been loving that one. So I'm probably going to do that flow right now for the rest of the night the goal is to just clean your mind and go to bed with a nice and organized and peaceful mind uh, so let's do some yoga All right, so now I'm all done with my yoga session and I'm pretty much ready for bed. And to wind down, I'm just going to read a little bit of this book that I've been reading recently. It's called The Way of Integrity by Martha Beck. Uh, and I found that reading is so much more relaxing and really gets me to bed much easier and quicker than like watching a show. One of the nights we still do watch a show, but when I have the motivation, I try to read instead. And my biggest tip, you know, for a restful night would be to really try your best to avoid using your phone at night especially being on social media i tried to at least for the last hour of the day not go on my phone not go on social media and just you know really take the time to give my mind more rest since we're trying to avoid using our phone at night it's also great to try to avoid it first thing in the morning so my biggest struggle was that you know i use my phone as an alarm and i think that most people do until i got this cute little alarm clock from amazon it's basically this little light dome and it lights up as if it's a sunrise in the morning and you can obviously set the time and you can also pick the tone of the alarm clock so mine is like a little bird singing and it wakes you up in a really gentle nice way i used to wake up with the iphone ring and it's just like so aggressive and it'll get me so stressed out in the morning so i feel like this is such a nicer way to wake up all right guys so that concludes my sunday reset routine thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope that you found some of these tips helpful and let me know which one you're going to implement in the comments below make sure to subscribe because we put out new videos every single friday and please like and share because it really helps support our new channel thank you so much beauties and i'll see you next friday bye